हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आली सर केमिस्ट्री क्लास फॉर ऑल टुडेज क्लास इज अबाउट जनरल साइंस एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस स्पेशली फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशंस एंड दिस क्लास इज बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन द केमिस्ट्री एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू एसएससी सीजीएल यूपी EPPC, NDA, uh, CDS and Civil Service Prelims Examinations. Basically, it is applicable for any competitive examinations. In today's class, I have de decided 10 questions, uh, which is basically MCQ questions. And I am giving, I am trying to solve it as early as possible. So, the first question is... <laughs> It's a very important type questions. Potassium permanganate is used to purify water. Which among the following properties of potassium permanganate helps in this work? All of you know the potassium permanganate is a very important chemical uh, which is used for <coughs> cleaning uh, water. So which properties is used here to cleaning the water? So, first one is reducing, that is not a uh, property of potassium permanganate. Oxidizing, all of you know, oxidizing is the most common property of potassium permanganate because here potassium permanganate has the oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. All of you know, the oxidation number of potassium permanganate is plus 7. How can you determine this oxidation number? Let the oxidation number of KMNO4 oxidation number of manganese in KMNO4 is X. Now, you can calculate easily like this X plus 1 plus X and each oxygen atom has minus 2 oxidation instead. So, this is minus 8 is equal to 0. So, x equal to plus 7. So, the oxidation number of manganese is plus 7. This is very much high. So, it can reduce its oxidation number from plus 4 to, <coughs> sorry, plus 7 to plus 4, plus 2, etc. So, it will be acting as a oxidizing agent. So, the basic, so the main property of potassium permanganate, which is useful for various reactions and various purifications and uh, such as uh, here the purifications of water the important properties which is useful here is oxidizing property so the answer will be oxidizing properties of potassium permanganate is used to purify water molecule not reducing not leaching not sterilizing now i'm moving to the second questions Which among the following acid is generally used as a first hand test to judge whether a metal is a gold or not? So, here is given sulfuric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. For your concern, I am giving the formula H2SO4, nitric acid, HNO3, hydrochloric acid, HCl, sulfuric acid given here in two times, doesn't matter. So, the um, answer will be nitric acid. All of you know nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. It will, oxi it will oxidize uh, most of the metals. But gold is not oxidized by nitric acid easily. But another metal such as copper, zinc, if you use nitric acid, it will uh, react with copper, copper, or zinc etc or iron etc but in case of gold if you use nitric acid it will not react with gold so by using nitric acid we can test whether the metal is gold or not so the answer will be nitric acid now moving to the question number three which among of the following is an example of colloidal solution all of you know this is very simple question milk is a colloidal solution fog is also a colloidal 
and smoke is also colloidal so the answer will be all of the above colloidal solutions in milk if you if you see in milk there is a dissolved proteins which is known as <coughs> Which is, uh, which is a protein is dissolved in uh, milk so in milk the protein uh, the solution is not transparent but here the, so, uh, here the here the solutions is homogeneous so it is it is a colloidal solutions similarly fog smokes etc all of these type of solutions are colloidal solutions so the answer will be all of the above now we are moving to question number four The colors in the fine cut diamond are because of which of the following? The color of the color in the fine cut diamond are because of which among of the following? Diamonds and crystal clear uh, color. So, if some compounds has different color, which will exist in nature uh, uh, compared to exist in nature, is there is a color is different? then there is said to be an impurities in the actual compound so the color is changing uh, in the presence of impurities with the pure compound in the pure compound so you see the color in the fine cut diamond are because of which among the following variance in the transparency of diamond no variance in the index of refraction this is not true presence of impurities so the actual answer will be presence of impurities which is caused the color in the fine cut diamond are because of presence of impurities now we are moving to question number 5 which method is suitable to separate the mixture of ammonium chloride and salt so in mixture we have ammonium chloride NH4Cl plus salt say here salt is actually given uh, by taking sodium chloride as a salt so four three different process are given here evaporation sublimation and simple distillation all of you know ammonium chloride and sodium chloride both are solids if two solids have the different uh, properties such as uh, sublimation sublimation means when you heat a solid it will directly transfer from solid to gas so ammonium chloride has this property if you heat this solutions ammonium chloride will sublimate and it will be separate out from NaCl or other salt so the sublimation process is the, uh, is, the is, is important here to separate the mixture of ammonium chloride and salt so the answer will be sublimations not evaporation not simple distillations the sublimation is the correct answer now we are moving to question number six which of the following metal has an or named as malachite so malachite is an important ore. all of you know malachite is an important ore of copper so the answer will be copper in question number seven what is given which of the following reaction represent the changing of green color for ferrous sulfate ferrous sulfate it decomposes to ferric oxides and its color becomes changes so the reactions will be decomposition reaction you see this is double displacement reaction now this displacement reactions means one is one is removed by another displacement double displacement means two times of displacement single displacement one time of displacement decomposition reaction is when a compound is decomposed that means it will form the new, one new compound from one compound two or three compounds by changing color or by the formation of ox formation of gases that type of reactions are called decomposition reactions so the answer will be decomposition reaction <coughs> now I'm moving to the question number eight Question number 8 is a very important question. What will be the pH of the solution whose pH is equal to 5? 
so pH and pH what is uh, pH and what is pH I am writing shortly here so pH is equal to minus all of you know logarithm minus log of concentration of H plus and pOH is equal to minus log of OH minus and there is an important equation pH plus pOH is equal to pkw is equal to 14 so here pH is given therefore pOH will be 14 minus p 14 minus pH which is equal to 14 minus 5 so it will be 9 so the answer will be 9 so the pH of the solution uh, so the pH of the solution which pH is equal to 5 will be 9 now we are moving to question number 9 which among the following is an acidic salt so all of you know salt what is salt when acid base when acid and base react they will form salt and water in salt one cation and another anion will be present generally so in NaCl if decomposes if it decomposes it will form Na plus Cl minus so there is no H plus ion Acidic salt means it must have to release one H plus ion. Calcium chloride also decomposes to form calcium 2 plus 2 Cl minus. There is no H plus ion. Na2SO4 it will form 2Na plus SO4 2 minus. But NHSO4 if you see here it will form Na plus HSO4 minus. Here you see in HSO4 there is an acidic proton H so it can release H plus ion with SO4 2 minus ion so one H plus is present here so the acidic salt among the uh, among these four salts will be sodium bisulfate NHSO4 now moving to the question number 10 which is the last question for today's class which of the following salt is the main component of the common black snake firework firework uh, all of you know in in firework in fire station and they are used or in fire extinguisher it is used so what will be the component used here washing soda so it is not used here washing soda the chemical formula is Na2CO3 Na2CO3 baking soda sodium bicarbonate soda lime NH calcium oxide mixer and caustic soda all of you know NH so here the answer will be the baking soda baking soda and sodium bicarbonate on decompositions it will form carbon dioxide which will form the black snake fire which will uh, uh, used to stop the firework to stop the fire and this is known as the common uh, uh, this is known as the black snake firework so when sodium bicarbonate is decomposes it will form carbon dioxide which is effect for which is uh, which is useful for the uh, um, for, for the fire extinguisher process so the answer will be baking soda so this was the uh, questions of today's class. These are the questions of today's class. Uh, I have discussed only 10 questions in future. Uh, in, uh, in next class, I will take uh, some more questions and I will give some, ex uh, some more explanations and more uh, detailed studies of different uh, uh, chemistry related questions in computer examination. Hope all of you are doing well and prepare well for your examinations. Thank you all for your kind persons.